Hello fellow grower, I'm back again and welcome to my channel, The Late Grower. Now it's a perfect morning here in Manila and uh, a very good time for me to top my pepper seedlings. You see they've been uh, growing for about a month, a month now and uh, they're kind of uh, spindly. So this is the perfect timing to uh, cut the tip of these uh, pepper plants in order to encourage the strengthening of the trunk as well as the formation of uh, new branches. But before we do that, I'd like to show you what happens when you do not tap or prune your pepper plants. Now, this is another pepper plant that's uh, a few months old and uh, it has never been tapped or uh, pruned. So, right now, as you can see, it has no branch. No branches whatsoever, just this uh, main vertical trunk and uh, a few leaves. Now, uh, when the strong wind uh, comes over, it easily sways, easily sways from side to side and uh, to the point of uh, when there is a typhoon, it wants to, uh, somehow I observed, it wants to <laughs> break. Okay, so this is what happens when you do not top your uh, pepper plant. But uh, as it grows later on, uh, naturally, on its own, it will also form its branch. This pepper plant here, has also never been topped or uh, pruned but uh, after growing uh, for quite some time it started to form its own branch so there is a Y formation here as you can see this is the two branches that uh, spawned and another Y formation on top okay this has never been pruned so even if you do not prune your uh, prune or top your pepper plant it will naturally grow branches but uh, still uh, in this case it grew tall before uh, sprouting branches. So in this case, when the, the wind uh, comes over, stronger wind, it also sways from side to side. Okay. Now this pepper plant here has been uh, topped uh, early on during its uh, early stage. I don't know if you can see here. It was uh, uh, topped here and uh, it grew branches. Uh, on the bottom so right now it has two main branches but uh, after that I uh, did not tap it anymore so it only has this uh, two vertical branches so later on I will also have to tap this to encourage the growth of uh, more branch now this uh, wild chili here uh, also we call uh, labuyo in the Philippines has been tapped early on and also been uh, pruned so as you can see it has a good uh, canopy now this is what I want to achieve with my uh, pepper seedlings right now for them to grow or to form a good canopy where there will be a lot of budding sites so as you can see it has a lot of uh, budding sites where the uh, fruits will uh, come out later So how do I top my uh, pepper plants? Okay, uh, we have here our uh, my pepper seedlings. So I'm just going to cut the top portion of uh, this, uh, giving it a slightly angled uh, position. I'm going to cut the tip of this uh, pepper plant. Okay, when you cut the tip of your pepper plant, when you top it off, it's uh, better to leave uh, at least four leaves. Uh, mature leaves as much as possible okay uh, the leaves will are needed when it comes to photosynthesis so do not uh, uh, remove a lot of leaves okay just make sure that uh, you cut at the point where the stem is uh, already a bit strong not at the very top not at the very top okay so in this case I'll show you once again I'll cut in this uh, portion instead of cutting here it is better to cut in this lower portion okay by cutting here we are going to encourage the growth of this sprout here this one here and also here possibly also in this uh, side okay now that is the purpose of uh, tapping uh, plants uh, we want to encourage the strengthening of the trunk and also for it to grow branches 
that will make it sturdy and uh, that will uh, give us a lot of uh, budding sites later. Okay, now all of them have been topped. I have here the uh, uh, tops of uh, my pepper seedlings. Now when topping your pepper plant, make sure that you do not cut uh, too low. Okay, when you cut it too low, just like uh, if you cut it here, uh, you deprive the plant of uh, budding sites or, uh, or uh, sites where the branch can grow. So also, you will be setting the plant back maybe two, three, or even one month if you cut it too low, just like if you cut it here. By uh, cutting it uh, high enough, just about right, you can encourage the growth of a lot of uh, branches from uh, these uh, sites here, the growth, growth, growth sites that uh, we call. That's between the uh, main stem and uh, the branch. That is where you can expect the branches to grow. Now, if you cut them too low, then you'll be depriving yourself and the plant of uh, the possibility of getting branches. Okay, so this is it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!